Cruise Show, Power nice. 106. What's up, man? Let's get to oh, know yeah. Russ. Russ is on the Cruise Can Show right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dog Russ had a show last night. Crystal B, you were out there. I was there. I it saw was you. amazing. Yep, Thank I saw you. I saw the pictures. You were wearing the Classic 32 in Los Angeles. Yep. It's yes. a smart move. Yes. Okay. Good move, my man. Thank you. Russ, Actually. how you feeling, man? Uh, life is surreal, bro. Right now, right? Yeah. I saw the caption. It was like, yo, it was unbelievable, but believable at the same time. Yeah, that's kind of like the story of everything that's been happening. Sure. Because you, you look, like, there's a lot of moments where, like, on stage, I'll just mm-hmm. kind of stand there mm-hmm. and look at everything. And I'm like, this and is sold un- out shows. Yeah, it's like, this is unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But then it's like, nah, this is hella believable because I've been, this is what I've been on. You right. Know what I'm saying? So, right. Like, it's about time. You know what I mean? But it's still, like, it's still surreal. You're doing very well for yourself. I see, I see you shining, bro. You know, this is new rapper money now. It's all I hear you. I hear you. No need to be humble, bro. No need to be humble, yeah, man. No. You, you wearing yeah. it. You know what I'm Thank saying, you. bro? Yeah. Thank you. Straight up. And it looks you know. good, bro. Thank was you. It, I what was the first that. thing you bought? First thing I bought, first thing I did was send my family a ton of money. Did you really? That's yeah. Dope. That's awesome. And my homie, a ton of money. Yeah. Your homie, why? Did he, did he hold uh, you down? You know what I'm saying? Just to like, just to thank you. What were you thanking him for? Uh, just being like, just being real. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I've known him since I was 12. I'm 23. So it's like. That's the homie, man. Yeah. That's really cool of you to do, man. Yeah. I don't know if I have somebody in my life that would like turn around and be like, my man, you helped me money. out, bro. Here's, here's some cash. Here's some float money. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And it was messed up because like I called him from like Tootsie's in Miami like a month ago. What is that? A strip club? Yeah. Just, okay. Just <laughs> faded like, I'm going to send you love. And like I woke up, I was like. What am I? What am I talking about? Oh, man. Like, bro, I'm gonna send you a million dollars, bro. No, I so, love you. So then, so like, I didn't. But then, like a month later, I called him again, like completely sober. I was like, Nah, I am. Like, it was real. Like, I'm going to. And then he was like, Nah, you're just faded. I was like, Nah, I'm sober. So then, like, he woke up the next day. It was like in the account. It was, it was fresh. That's oh, very wow. dope of you to do, yeah, yeah, man. Okay. That's Thank very you. cool, man. Yeah. So let's get to know you, my man. So you were born in New Jersey. Yes, I was born in Jersey. Mm-hmm. Moved and out as a baby, though. Moved out as a baby. Yeah. And then you live in Atlanta, or you've been living in Atlanta. Uh, yeah. In Atlanta? So I mean, like. Uh, we moved around a lot, mm-hmm. and not even so much a lot, but it was at weird times. So I never felt like anywhere was my home. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, growing up, there's certain ages where, like, if you move, right. you can get lost like, in that mix. Eight you know? times between the age of two and six. And Absolutely, really, you like, won't even know it. Yeah, you don't know mm-hmm. anything. But, you know, I moved like I moved a bunch in like elementary school, and then mm-hmm. I moved mm-hmm. going into eighth grade to Atlanta. Yeah, which is like a weird time to you know, it's like practically moving going into high school. Everyone's got yeah. their whole like. Mm-hmm. You know that little I mean? click going yeah, on. Yeah, 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 right. But Russ, that affects you mentally, correct? Yeah, nah, for sure. It does. And at first, what I did, because, you know, I was a kid who was going to school in basketball clothes, because I bought. I always, I've always bought. Yeah, my yeah, whole basketball life. shorts. Yeah, basketball, like, and one clothes, whatever. I had, right. the, I had the earrings in at, like, 11. <laughs> right, like, right. You know right. what I'm saying? Were and they like, real or fake at 11? Uh, probably fake. Right. <laughs> I, would, I would hope so. My mom better have nothing putting real diamonds in my head at 11. <laughs> um,. But we were always stunning. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, no, but I come to Georgia and it was like mad close minded. So I'm like, I'm sitting there as like 12 as the new kid, like, and everyone's got the short shorts and the Sperrys and the polos. And I'm walking in like, and it was the first time I ever heard the term wigger. And I was like, uh, what does that mean? Is that what they were calling you in yeah. school? Wow. But I was like, because I have on, um, because I like to play basketball. Right. I don't even get right, it. Right. Right. <laughs> Super weird. That's weird. So, yeah. You're Italian? Sicilian. So you're Sicilian. Yeah. My bad, my G. Dang, Sicilian. Mm. That's what's up. Do you do you get um do you get anything for that? Like, yo, you're you're Sicilian. It might not work out. Or is or, or how far nah, could you I go? I just say the white thing. Really? Yeah. Or Which is have, like or you have family in the mafia? <laughs> The mob. It's not a bad thing, though. <laughs> if I tell you, I had to kill you. Yeah, right. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I would run with. I'd be like, you don't know my family, so right. you don't want to fuck with me. Yeah. <laughs> you got real ones. Yeah, man. I know, right? There's always somebody in the family that's, yeah. you know, that's just, uh, that's a little close. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You know, Sicily's where it started. So. Absolutely, no, man. Sleep with the fishes. Yeah, man. Right. Best mob movie ever. Godfather, come on. Yeah. There it is. Mm, yeah. Godfather's good. Easy. Goodfellas a little better. I'll be honest with no, you. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. No, I don't want to be disrespectful, but Godfather. <laughs> sit back down. Sit down. <laughs> Godfather is legendary, and I believe that that's in its own lane. The first one is the best one. First one. Yeah. When it got to number three, it just became toilet paper. But like here's the thing. Goodfellas, yeah. though, I mean, it's I like Goodfellas, too. Goodfellas amazing. Just a yeah. more updated version. A Bronx Casino, Tale. Bronx Tale. Bronx Tale is dope. Absolutely. You speak Sicilian? No, I don't. I don't, because my family wasn't speaking in the house. Oh, yeah, you know so there mean? it is, yeah. Because, you know, when they came over, they were told that they got to not speak the language. Mm-hmm. Assimilate. 
you know what I'm saying? So it's like it, the language kind of got lost. That's right. That's right. Through generations. You seem very mature for your age, Russ, but you're only 23 years old. Yes. You're getting this new rapper money. You're mm -hmm. in front of you're in front of thousands. Yes. Right. Doing what you love. I'm sure mm -hmm. women are throwing themselves at you. I'm sure that's happening, and that's all right. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I can I yes. can tell they are by uh, by judging your smile when I said that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you love yeah. it. Yeah. But this is a good life, right? It's a great life, bro. Yeah. Yeah. What's so great about it, though? Yeah, it's like everything I envisioned. You know what I'm saying? This is literally like, I have a line in a song where I say I used to dream about the life that I'm living right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's That's like, right. This like everything. Like I said, this is a YouTube video. You know how many times I've seen this? Yeah, right. You watch. And now I'm the one in the seat. You've this seen like, our I'm interviews. Not, I'm not jaded to anything. Like mm -hmm. this is this is real life. This is like, th like everything feels like a movie. Everything feels like some like video game where I'm just playing it's like yeah, right, right now right, I get to right. be, it's like create a player mm -hmm. like God. I'm the person you know and, what it's, yeah, yeah. and it's just the beginning though yeah, it's so really there's more wild. to come yeah we're gonna add some more accessories as the, the days go yeah, absolutely yeah. my <laughs> man what's up Todd is there anything so far that you saw like oh crap I didn't know it was gonna be like this as far as what and anything like so far as far as the anything, fame anything great, and everything anything caught you like okay maybe like that what? I didn't like yeah yeah what don't you like about the rap game the politics mm -hmm. yeah doesn't always reward hard work is that right? Yeah. Sure. Why? 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 Yeah, and how? Why do I think that? Why does it not reward hard work? Both. I mean, you see a lot of these people who do, who blow up off of one song. Yeah. Which is cool. Yeah. But it's like it's a pump fake. Okay. And the industry falls for it every year, and they actually talk about these people as if they're not. Are we talking about Panda? No, no, no. I like designers actually super talented. Designers dope. Designers super talented. But it's hard when you have a hit that that major. Yeah. What are you gonna do What's your after? Well, yeah. yeah. Well, and people will judge the follow up well, and the follow well, up after the, that. Here's the issues, and this is what I pride myself on: is that my catalog kind of blew up. Like, mm -hmm. If you go to the show, like everyone sings every word to every song. That's crazy. And I feel like when you blow up off of one song, the mm -hmm. song becomes bigger than you. Like Absolutely. I want people to fall in love with me, not yeah. the song. No, the catalog you know? will have you performing for the rest of your 100%. life. Hundred percent. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And people are out there singing every single word, crazy. bro. Isn't that nuts, bro? It's crazy because I've done so many shows where there's four people and no one knows anything, and they're looking at me like, you know, I have two heads. So it's like, <laughs> right, <laughs> right, 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 yeah. right. I talk on the radio every day, bro. Nobody's repeating what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right, right. You feel me, bro? Yeah, so that's sure. major, man. Yeah. Russ, you know you've seen this before you 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 watch youtube yes you've been on it man and and uh, you're a good dude you walk in Thank here you. man and you're very honest and we appreciate that you know sometimes you get a new artist and they're not necessarily they're so new they don't necessarily know how to do an interview oh i love to talk or <laughs> <laughs> we've even gotten like some new cats who come in here and try to take the super cool route where they just don't even want to say anything that's because they're jaded already they're already like, though already they're like lost in their own sauce it's a very slippery slope mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is that one of your biggest fears is getting lost in a sauce like that no because i'm super grounded like my mom's my right. best friend my little sister's my best friend i love that you know what i'm saying like my homie from when i was 12 is my best friend that's it's super like, cute you know what i'm saying like that's the thing like I don't find my identity in this. You know what I'm saying? This right. is just what I do, but it's not like... I feel like once you start thinking, once you start believing that you are this thing, you get lost in your own hype. You know what I'm saying? You start believing mm -hmm. your own hype, and that's when you just like start being a maniac. Right, right. But you do have those moments where like, yo, I'm kind of the shit right now. Oh, of course. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Course. Sure. And that's okay. And that's oh, yeah. okay because that, you know, that you're, you're, uh, you're catering to your confidence. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Of course. But then it's like, I always say like, you know... I was, I was confident as hell, and I was, I was pulling women, and I was doing all that in my in my '97 Nissan when I was. Go born. ahead, go care, ahead. You know what I'm saying? So it's That's like, right. it's like this isn't like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I can tell that like, you can tell a lot of rappers who were like they have this bitter undertone, like women didn't like me. Now it's like now I'm getting all the women. Yeah, it's like right, relax, right. bro. It's not my fault. You were like you only look good with money. <laughs> <laughs> Money does make you look a little better, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely, I mean, man. Yeah. Russ is here, man, and I think we're getting some bars this morning. Okay. Cruise show. How y'all want? want an acapella? What do you want? What are we doing, How do you man? Want it? Where's E Man at? Hold on, man. These yeah. Bars. I can Hold give on, you that's acapella. not it. You wanna, listen, you're a G if you can freestyle over commercials. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. What type of commercials? You, you know what I mean? <laughs> but that'll be kind of tough. You know what I mean? Yeah, that would be kind of tough. E Man, okay. Ooh. We're about to get into it. Russ is here, yeah, crew show, Power 106, yeah. Breakfast Bars, DJ yeah. E-Man, LA's Morning Hip Hop Mix, DJ E-Man, let's go. Give me Yo. some like, give me some like hip hop like, 
like throwbacks. Like, oh, man. yeah, what do you want? De- like drug dealers anonymous beat. Type oh, shit. Something oh, like some that. Push? Something like that. Some push. I, I heard that beat the other day, and I was like, yo, mm-hmm. people are sleeping mm-hmm. on this beat. This beat. They did beat. sleep you on that beat. Yeah, I think so. E man might have that man. Yo, when you're recording music, is your mom in your head or your friends in your head? Uh, is your old neighborhood in your heart? You know what I think? I think it's like a wow. This sounds so much better now. There you go. Having a volume. Welcome <laughs> back, man. Hear us. <laughs> Amazing. Um, <laughs> uh, nah, I think say? I think I kind of black oh out. God. You know what I'm saying? I think mm-hmm. I kind of do like a transformation. It's like That's you right. go to like this other part of you. You know what I mean? Like I don't know what I'm thinking about. I don't think I'm thinking at all. I think it's all feeling. Right. Yeah. Right. And there's really no thought. I mean, as long as you feel it. You got to go with that, right? Intuition at all times. Absolutely, if man. If it feels right, I go with it. All right, man. Breakfast bars. Russ is here. Cruise show. Yeah. Power 106. Check in. The world famous DJ E-Man. LA's morning hip hop mix. Yeah, Russ. Where's the volume? Okay. Yeah, yeah Russ. Now you got yeah. The volume. Yeah, Russ. Cruise show. Mm. Power 106. LA. Russ. Yeah. I'm letting it loop back around. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm saying I'm a, I'm a producer. I like to let the beat breathe, though. Bro. Vibe with it, bro. Vibe yeah. with it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, strippers in Houston, I've been dabbling with quite a few, couple million up, off of SoundCloud, that's quite a view, why are you so mad, that's something that lames do, I don't need a pistol, but that's something that chains do, my visions, they came true, and they keep on coming, I got women wrapped around the block, and they keep on running, if I show my face, know your place, think before you comment on this DIY pioneer, rich before I dotted on this line, don't cross it, Mine on some boss shit. That's why I partnered instead of sign. 50 50 profit. Moving state to state to state to state. The country hopping. Popping 20s for these bitches. Nah, I got my 20s popping. Yeah. Buy my 40s. 40Bs is what my fortune reads. My advice kill the verse and let the chorus breathe. 40 Gs, that's a light week. I ain't got to say shit. They just get defended cause my ice speaks. Why he got so many bad bitches down to be wifey? Shout out to my women in the bay getting hyphy. I can get with the family cause that's good for my psyche. Riding around Atlanta bumping Gucci, bitch, I might be. Hey. Yeah, 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 Russ. <laughs> yeah, man, cool yeah. show, Power 106. Russ in here. Now, Russ, you talking about uh, a producer as well, producer, yeah. you're a rapper, right? Writer. Mm-hmm. Writer. Yes. We're thinking about venturing off once we get really put on? Yeah, I'm going to take all these rappers' money. That's sure. what I'm talking okay. about. Okay. Yeah. What we doing? We doing movies? What we doing? Oh, yeah, I'm going to do movies too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My homie, my director, Edgar's in here. Mm-hmm. Shoots all the videos. He's going to be shooting the movies. We're going to be starring in it. That's what Lace I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? What's up, Todd? Is there anyone you're looking at right now? Like, yo, I need to get to where he is and pass him? Drake. You want Drake? You want the throne? Look, look. If you honestly like, if you don't think Drake is number one, then you're looking at a different game than mm-hmm. the rest of us. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like numbers don't lie. Look at this. Look what this dude's doing. That's you know it. what I hate is when the industry is like, rap doesn't sell anymore. It's like, really? really? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, rap it doesn't does. sell anymore. Mediocre music doesn't sell because it never did. You right. know what I'm saying? It's right. like, Drake is out here crushing. What are y'all doing? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I'm trying to do number one shit, bro. I'm not doing like, I'm not doing this tier two like weirdo you know like being a bench player right now you're trying to get it bro trying to be steph curry bro my man well he lost though that's not the best well (laughs) he just lost trying to be steph curry without the l's (laughs) (laughs) yo you love latin women love latin women really what is it about them that you love they're crazy and they're terrible for me. What do you mean? They're <laughs> crazy and terrible <laughs> crazy for me. Definitely. Yo, that's exactly yeah. why, right? That's exactly like, yo, they're crazy and they're all bad for me and, and I want I them it. every day yeah. of my life. Every single time. Great yeah, right? Yeah, I, I like the culture. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, I don't mm-hmm. like the girls who are like, you know, what did you eat growing up? And they're like, I don't know, just like chicken and like lettuce. Nah, like, that's nah. what your mom was making? Boss. Right, nah, nah. Like, nah, I want nah. someone that has culture. Yeah, like, right. Like, oh, we it. grew up uh, eating chilequiles, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Stuff like that, Love right? It. And chile relleno and all of that, Love right? All of that. What's yeah. your favorite favorite Latin dish? I don't know any of that. I was just like the way he was. You know? <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Just order me I'm saying, whatever. like, if a girl saying yeah, that right. to me, I'm like, word, I'm with it. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Yo, man. It, what about the strip club? You hitting strip clubs left and right? Are we enjoying? I used to never be a strip club person. Okay. I was like, on some real, like, you don't have to be doing this type of thing. It was like very bad. Aww. Yeah, yeah. But then I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Magic you know what City? I mean? Like, let me be a maniac and just, yeah, like Atlanta's home for the strip clubs. Yeah, you know well, yeah. Yeah, 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 man. But, yeah. Are, are you dropping crazy now, money in there already? No. Now, here's the thing about strip clubs, though. Hmm. Atlanta is like, to me, I got like, it's like getting introduced to, to weed with your pop friend, like, 
pothead homie who's mm-hmm. like the second you start smoking there's a pothead mm-hmm. so like atlanta like i got spoiled because the atlanta strip clubs are like you know they're like busting it open and it's like yeah. nasty it's crazy then you go up to like new york and like they walk around like in business suits like yeah dang, like yo what are like like, well, like yo, worst. what are we doing? Yeah. What is this? Yeah. Now you've seen the free for all, so yeah, anything under that is horrible. Right? Well, Tuche right, said right. the gourmet chefs in there. And oh, shit. absolutely. Yeah, yeah I'm man. So down. <laughs> yo, I'll for real, right? For for sure. Come to Atlanta. Oh, yeah. Go to the Flame. It's on the west side. I Go. want to. Oh, is that right? I'm down. Yeah. Hell yeah. Are we gonna be on the list? Are you on the list? Twenty four hours a day? Or? Are you getting us in? Or what's the deal? We can finesse some there. Yeah, right. Who you hanging out with in the game, Russ? No one. You no one? my friends. Yeah? <laughs> there's no other there's nah, no other I mean, rap cats that you fucking with? I mean that I just like. Or that you're hanging out with. Nah, I mean I don't like be kick, I don't like kicking it with dudes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I fuck with you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Me neither. Like I'll record. <laughs> I'm on, if I'm gonna kick it with a dude, we're gonna be productive, not just on some like Yo, so like, how's the fam? Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even yeah. know you. Yeah, it's like, bro, I got friends already, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. No, no new friends. friends. Yeah, no, no new friends. friends. I already got nah, friends. I think that's what's team. important. I think once you like, if you have a real like solid circle and foundation, mm-hmm. then it's like, you're good to go. That's why like, I'm not worried about like, losing my mind to like anything. Like, you know, my manager, Milan, Edgar, like, they came to the house, they met the mom, like, she would beat me with a wooden spoon if I ever started acting crazy. Like, that's she right. literally said it. She's Is like, right? I swear, if you start being. I will hit you with this. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, I can't, it's impossible for me to be a mania. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got too many yeah. people that would check me. Uh-huh. Would you say you have, uh, or you had a crazy life up till now? I, I mean, it depends on your definition of crazy. I think, I think going from like, I'm sorry, I had no industry connections. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let, let me tell y'all something. Go ahead. A lot of these weirdo rappers out here uh-huh. that people think are like actually, you know, Ooh, doing it from the ground up. Go ahead. They're not. Their dad is this dude's business manager. Their dad, they have this connection. Oh, he cuts my hair. What? It's like I had no industry connection. I'm talking about like I was dropping a song a week on SoundCloud. You had SoundCloud, yeah. yeah. That was and my YouTube. connection. You know what I'm saying? My connection was the internet. I would drop a song on SoundCloud a week for over a year and a half, and I would go to sleep, and that shit got popping. No industry connection. No weirdo secret. I'm trying to keep. It's like that's really what I did. Mm-hmm. This is real to me. Who do you think at the end of the day? Honestly, like it's gonna sound crazy, but I de- I think my I think my self belief. All these people are like looking up to these other things, and it's like, I feel you, but I, I'm trying to get people. My message is like, yo, you need to be looking up to you. Yeah. You need to be looking up to your potential. You need to realize that there's so much power in you. A lot of people don't realize that there's so much untapped potential. Yeah. It's like y'all are so busy looking at other people to get answers and inspiration. Why don't you get like I have a line that I got my inspiration from my own potential. Fuck your taste. I know what's hot. I got my own credentials. You know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm, like, I don't mm-hmm. need, like, what do you mean? And Russ, you, you agree with me. No one's going to put you on. Facts. No one put me on. Eh, go ahead, go ahead, that, go eh, ahead. Eh, yeah, eh, but eh. nobody will put you on. You got to put Facts. yourself on. Now you can get put on, but I just don't fuck with that. Yeah, you can get put on, but uh, but good luck with that. Facts. You know what I'm saying? It's not as real. Like, the thing that I'm proud of the most is, like, I put myself on, I built my fan base, and it's organic, and it's That's like, right, that's right. You know I'm saying? I went to Belgium, did 1,100 people, sold out off of SoundCloud. Major. Off me? of SoundCloud. Off of SoundCloud. Mm. Turned my SoundCloud to a set list. 72 you know million saying? plays on SoundCloud. Go Were ahead. you ready for that? That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's unbelievable, but it's also like, yo, that's what I was doing it for. Yeah. So it's almost like... Like, this is why I'm here. It's like, you practice every day in the gym... And then you go drop 30. It's like, yo, I can't believe I dropped 30. But then it's like, nah, I was practicing in the gym. Yeah, believe I was it. Doing it. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was practicing for. Yeah, I better drop 30. Yeah, you know man. What I'm saying? You've mentioned uh, the words weirdo rappers. What makes up a weirdo rapper? And who is a weirdo <laughs> yeah, I rapper? Yeah, I want to know who's a weirdo rapper. I mean, I'm sure there's real. a few out there. You know what I mean? I'm not going to say names. You don't have to I, say names, but what makes up a weird I rapper? I don't respect. When I say weirdo rappers, I just mean like, I mean, I mean that shit that just looks like it comes out of just nowhere. And it's like obvious that there was some industry connection like if you peel back the layers far enough there's some industry shit and it's like to me that's not hip-hop you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. like hip-hop to me is all about like the underdog you know what i'm saying like hip-hop is not like oh i came into this shit with like you gotta work for it every connection that's pop yeah that's a pop approach you know what i'm saying that's not hip-hop you know we we have uh we got a set of new rappers out as well that uh, that only been rapping for a year or two and they're out and they're popping at the moment that's dope but that isn't that doesn't that Frustrates you? No, it doesn't frustrate me. It doesn't frustrate me. What frustrates what frustrates me is people who think that that is gonna equivalent to longevity. It's like, bro, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I turn up to all this stuff, whatever, whatever, too. But it's like, 
I'm aware, you know what I mean? Like, I don't fall for the pump fakes. Every year, the industry falls for, like, three pump fakes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, let me know if, like, you know, they're going to be here even next year. I'm not even talking 10 years. They're not even going to be here next year. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, right? And, Russ, you seem so focused, but you got you to gotta have some time where you fuck around. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And what's being Good done face. when we're fucking around? You know, strippers in Houston. I've been dabbling with quite a few. <laughs> so you're an ass man. No, I'm honestly, I'm honestly not. Well, I mean, I'll say this. Yeah, you are, bro. You I'm in, rap. I'm in every, I'm in everything, <laughs> man. But honestly, my favorite is the face. Your face has got to be a one. The face has to be a one. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm looking at. Mm -hmm, you know what I'm mm -hmm, saying? Like mm -hmm. makeup, no makeup. What do you think? Both. With women. Both. Yeah. You don't want me getting that. Hmm? <laughs> you don't want me to get into the makeup, no makeup. Why not? I got a female fan base. I can't be crushing their souls like that. <laughs> <laughs> both, both on everything. Well, some wear a lot of makeup and some don't. I like the, yeah. the medium look. You know look, what? Now I'll say this. My, up, little, my little sister, Gianna. Shout out, Gianna. There she's, she is. She's How eight, old is she? She's 18. She eight just, years old. Wow, is today the 12th? Yes. yes. Wow, she just moved into college today. Oh, is that right? Talk to oh, her, man. Talk exciting. to her. Yo, Gianna, don't be an idiot in college. And listen, all those people down there don't know what the fuck they want to do with their lives, Right? So don't be one of those people who wakes up four years later like, wow, what just happened? Stay focused, follow your passion, follow your gut. I love you. Mm -hmm. What That's about awesome. a message to the boys that want to meet her? You will oh. get slapped the shit out of if you play some stupid <laughs> shit. Yo, for real. Like, don't <laughs> test my love for my sister, man. Yeah. I love that. Straight yeah. up. You're a family guy. You want to have a family eventually? Yeah, I do. I just feel like it's so far down the road. I yeah, can't right. Because here's my thing. What's up? A lot of women think that, like, getting with a dude who's been with a lot of females is a bad look. Okay. But it's like, listen, America has a super high divorce rate because dudes are getting married with two bodies on them. Right. You know what I'm saying? So then they walk around throughout the rest of their life and they see something they haven't tasted yet and they're like, yo, I got to go try that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like, yo, like, I'm going to get married at 35. I'm going to have it all out of my system. You know what I'm saying? Go, <laughs> go, go. You won't be married by 35, trust so, me. Yeah. Nah, bro. Honestly, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm not. You yeah, know what I'm saying? But, yeah. like... I'm gonna have a lot of it out of my system. Like I'll see like Victoria's Secret models walk down and be like, "All right, cool." Like, no big deal. You know what I'm saying some of these tens like have whack shit going on. Right, you know right, right, like, right, right. For yeah. real. You got any tattoos you regret? Nah, zero. I only have three. Yeah. Yeah. They all mean something to you. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I'm gonna get a, uh, another one soon for my grandfather who passed away. Oh man, taught rest me in music. Peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was he a musician as well? Yeah, he played guitar for like 80 years. Wow. Like crazy dope. Do you remember your last conversation with him? Yeah. What was that like, man? Screwed up. Screwed up. It was tough. I'm sure it was a tough time. I mean. Yeah, it was just because uh, one of the last things he told me was, because hey, he, you know, he had uh, Parkinson's. Mm -hmm. So Parkinson's affects all the muscles and your muscles, tongue, brain, everything. Sometimes you couldn't really talk, so you couldn't understand them. But he was just like, one of the last things he was like, you look super cool. And he was like the boss. Like, you know, my dad would call him boss. Like, yeah. that's really the whole, boss. like he was the cool one in the family. He was the boss. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, would run New York City. You know what I'm saying? Had his right. own company. But that's right. Yeah, I think it screws up because he was like, you know, the last thing he said was like, promise me you'll come back and see me and play guitar with me. So, like, I always like regret that. But, oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. But that's all right, man. All you all you owe anyone is success and uh, for yourself. And, and, and yeah. it sounds like that's that's where you're headed. But that's why, that's, why, that's why I push the whole present moment thing because it's like, yeah. look. People act like tomorrow's guaranteed. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. like the thought of you not waking up tomorrow is just this like unicorn thought, like impossible. But it's like, yo, it happens. And it's like, so I'm like, you know, in Atlanta, when I did the show in Atlanta on this tour, like I chose to do the venue that I did because I had done that venue so many times with four people in the crowd. I told the whole family, like, y'all need to come because my dad had never seen a show. Wow. And he was like, do you really want me there? Like, uh, yeah. I was like, yeah, like you got to see this for like you and you need to see this for me. Like. You know what I'm saying? Like, because otherwise I'm going to regret it and you're mm -hmm. going to regret it. Like, I'm going to do the say? what ifs. What did he say after he saw you? He was, I yell it, man. Uh, he was, honestly, like, all my shit talking, my crazy personality. Like, yeah. I get it from my dad. He's the best. Yeah. He's a maniac. He bust balls. Yeah, he's crazy. Ball yeah. buster. <laughs> Ball <you>. buster. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I'm sure they saw you on stage and they and they were extremely proud of He was, proud he and was they... just, like, blown away. Because the thing is, like, you know, you go home and tell your, like, I've been telling my parents for, like, seven years, like, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get pop and just watch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, you know, parents like you go and show them like numbers on YouTube. It's like cool to them. It's like ooh, a million views, whatever. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't translate though. They see it in real life, sold out, and everyone's singing the words to their kid's song. They're like, oh it's my concrete, god. Concrete, yeah. Yeah. Like, can I get your autograph? <laughs> right, 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 like, you're, right. You're my child. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. How do you feel about bloggers? Uh, bloggers are literally the majority of them are morons. Let me tell you why. Go ahead. Um, 98% of them are failed producers and or rappers. So you're getting a very bitter undertone. Okay. 
It's like, you know, like there used to be so many- observation. Yeah, there used to be so many bloggers, like I would send, because I used to do everything myself. I'd be doing my own PR. I I know all the writers at these these little weirdo, you know what I'm saying? That's why, like, someone wanted to do an interview with me last night. I was like, absolutely not. Why? Y'all had me blocked on Twitter. Y'all, I can pull up emails. Who was it? They know who they are. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But nah, it's like, you know, it's- there's some good bloggers. Like I like DJ Booth. I like Shake mm-hmm. from Two Dope Boys. I like mm-hmm. Jeff Weiss is a dope writer. Fuck with the leakers, man. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I haven't really like. I stay off. I stay off the blogs. I stopped. You know what I'm saying? But bloggers are cool. But it's like, yo, like y'all gotta understand. Like y'all need to just be talking about good music, not this weirdo politics stuff. Like I have no sympathy for Complex and Double XL if they want to wake up now. Like you know what I'm saying? Like half that list can't do what the fuck I'm doing. You know what I'm saying like so when you ask for the interview, no, you can't get it. Mm-hmm. How do you Period. feel about the last freshman class, Double XL? They've been terrible since like 2010. Is that right? Well, wow. how, how so? Look at the success rate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like they're putting people on there that didn't even make it past the you know past the Best Buy theater show. <laughs> right, right, like, right. No facts though. It's like <laughs> we got like Schoolboy Q on there. He's killing it. Nah, there's some like Schoolboy Q is super dope. Of Kendrick's course. dope. J. Cole's a success story, Wiz, Big Sean, all those people. But, like, everyone knows the ones I'm talking about that didn't do anything. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, like, and my them. whole thing is this. It's like... But you never rap- know who's going to blow up, though. You signed a rookie the first, the first nah, year. Half, gonna but happen from the him. past, though, like... Half, half the freshman lists are pump fakes. This is what I'm talking about. It's yeah. like those pump fake artists where it's like, really? This is supposed to be, like... What I think the freshman list is supposed to be is, like, who's going to be running the game? Okay. Now, Russ, if one of those acts sees this... And they decide to come at you for for your they, thoughts. They can do what whatever now. They, they can do whatever they want. If they want to take it personally, that's probably because it it hit them. It might be true. Story. Yeah, it's like the thing with me is like, remember that line where Drake said, "This being, you'll never hear a reply for it." Mm-hmm. It's like I'm not like it's not that I detach from this. That's what I'm saying. I don't find my identity in this. This is what I do. This is what right. I love. It's my life. But like, I know where I come from. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna like get lost in some sauce like like. That rapper entity dissed my entity. Oh no! It's like I don't like whatever. I'm talking about your music. I don't know you personally. I'm talking about what you're doing in the studio. Yeah, it's not like I'm talking about your mom. That's what I'm saying. People take this shit so. It's like yo, I'm talking about what you're doing. But you realize how someone can take it personal, right? Because they pour their life into it. Uh, No, a hundred percent. I a hundred percent get it. But at the same time, my other thing is this: I don't understand why rap is the one thing in the world, right, where colleagues can't speak on other colleagues. It's like if you almost a no no, right? Yeah, Yeah, it's like like taboo. It's like if I want an opinion on on a basketball player, do I want Joe Schmo's opinion? Do I want Kobe's? Kobe's, Kobe's, because he does it. Mm -hmm. It's like if we're talking about rap, why would you not ask my opinion? Why am I not allowed to give my opinion? It's such this like delicate walk on eggshells, like ego driven macho. Like don't speak. It's like why? Like fine, we'll just listen to a bunch of people who don't do it, and we'll believe their opinion. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That's not the way to go. It's like come on, why can't I say it? Like. If I want to know, like, if I want a reference to a good doctor, I'm going to go ask a doctor to tell me what's the best foot doctor. What's the best? You know right, what right, right. You're, like, not, you're not asking Dr. Dre is what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dr. Dre is the you know, reason why I started making beats. You're for real, right? Yeah. Yeah. For what, sure. What, what song got you into making beats? What Dre song? Can you Honestly, remember? Honestly, I was seven when I got bit by, like, the hip-hop bug. So okay. it was, like, G-Unit, 50, Eminem, Lloyd Banks, like, that Back from Mercy thing, like, Dr. Dre, all that. Um, I remember being like eight or whatever, like watching the In The Club video where 50 comes down from the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Running on the treadmill? Back when music videos were like bananas. You right, know what I mean? right, right, right. Well, before that, you had Diddy doing yeah. multi-million dollar videos. 100%. You know what I mean? Movies, bro. 100%. Eminem's are fully produced. Movies. 100%. 100%. You know? Does it need to get back to that? Yeah, I just think that everyone should do... Everyone should just try and be the best. You know what I'm saying? And if your best isn't whatever, like my whole pet peeve is people who have talent but don't tap into it. Mm-hmm. It's like mm-hmm. I can't believe in you for you. Wasted talent. Yeah. Wasted talent. You know what I mean? You obviously pay very close attention to social media. Are yeah. you paying attention to comments? Are you into all that? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. My yeah. manager's always like, yo, you got to stop reading that. <laughs> but I make examples out of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, yeah, you yeah. respond to people hating? So, so, so it's uh, clapback well, like, season for Russ. No, it's not. It's not even clapback season. It's more like, look, like if you say something, right? Yeah. And you're trying to spread like some false, untrue things about me. Like I'ma quote the tweet mm-hmm. and I'ma just set it straight. Not to just like shit on you individually, but sure. more so to like show everyone, like, look, if you also felt this way, let me clear it up. Mm-hmm. It's not mm-hmm. really clapback, it's just kinda, you know, 
activity. Make it yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. What does your manager say? You got to get off fucking Twitter, He's like, bro. Yo, your fans are psychos. You have to stop. <laughs> <laughs> but they're not psychos. I'm sure they're very beautiful people. No, I you know he, psycho is a term of endearment for me. Is I love Latina right? women. Yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> and we are psychos. So I mean, I mean, they can be. They can be, but sure. in, in the oh, most yeah. beautiful way. You of know course. what I mean? Of course. I'm saying. Yeah, bro. I'm saying. I'm telling you, that psychoness will have, will have you putting a ring on 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 their finger. You know what I mean? Close several times. Have you really? Wow. Have you thought about that? Like, I mean, honestly, my whole thing was this. Hmm. They did three girls, right? Like, for real? At the same time? No, no, no. Oh, okay. (laughs) I was going to say, you're a fucking savage. Not yet. All right. Not Not yet. yet. My man. (laughs) No, but um, when I would date a girl, like, I never understood dating someone with the idea of, like, well, you know, we're going to break up in, like, a year. Like, if I'm going to date you, right? If I'm going to cut all my hoes off and just, like, be with you, (laughs) we better be getting married. Otherwise, like, let's just fuck for six months and then call it a day right right and you not catch feelings you know? yeah if that's what we're doing mm-hmm. but it's like if we're like committed it's like alright like I'm committing to you then. so you see a potential wife in every girl you 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 date oh every girl I dated I was down to marry for sure Oh, you wife from quick, Aww. bro. You're, you, you, yeah. you want love. You love love. You're married at 28. Yeah, nah, but I was with it. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. like, I was going off of potential. I would see these girls like, and be like, yo, like, I know what you could be. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Could you see yourself dating somebody in the, in the uh, industry I or think do you I, want normal girl? I would say unquote. I think at this point I missed my window on the regular girl thing. You think so? Yeah. Because it's like, mm-hmm. how am I going to believe you? Like, I had this thing I said on Baby where I said, uh... How am I supposed to save the date? It's the marriage saying, how am I supposed to save the date if any bitch would date me? You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like that Drake line where he's like, how are you supposed to find the one when any one would come with you? I don't, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you believe that? Yo, you've dropped a few Drake lines, yeah, bro. Really like Drake. You got a few more? I studied, bro, I'm telling you, you just got to study the best. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? absolutely, Kobe, yes. Kobe studied Michael's moves. Mm-hmm. You feel mm-hmm. me? That's why Kobe did what he did. Smart move, bro. Yeah. Smart move. I'm not going to study like a tier four rapper for what? Right, right, right. What, to figure out what not to do? I already know what not to do. <laughs> <laughs> I already know that. I could be bad by myself, exactly. bro. Exactly. You know I, I, mean? I don't need you to tell me how to come in second place. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. Yo, Russ, we appreciate your honesty. We Thank appreciate you. you coming through, man. You yeah. have officially a home here at Power 106, Sick. my G. This is a dream come true, for real. I'm not jaded to anything. I'm seven years old and, and life is epic. Thank you. Okay, we'll see you. Talk to us Excited after you win a Grammy. Future. You know what I'm saying? And of then we're course. like, okay. We can't even talk to Russ anymore. Nah, I'm gonna you know win a Grammy saying? next year. I'm gonna come back. Is that right? Of course. We calling that right now. I'm getting the most Grammys ever. You got to put that into the universe, of course, though, right? Speak it to existence. Come on, we manifest yeah. everything out here. Law I of love attraction. that, man. One time for Russ, ladies and gentlemen. Shout to the entire fan base as well, man. Yeah. Keep killing, man. Thank you. For real, man. Thank Young you. God, Russ, Crew Show, hey. Power 106. Best then, better now. Get yourself a pair at Robert Wayne Footwear.